What it is, guys, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming at you with more Dokkan Battle. Now, um, this is something I've been meaning to bring for a couple of days, and it's just not been opportune. But, as you guys know, I have that kind of shit luck that I only pull the unit, the prime unit, typically when it's like the end of the of the banner. So, I finally managed to pull UI Goku. I didn't pull him in December. I've been trying all month. I finally, finally got him. So let's do a little test. Now, I've seen a lot of people have this unit and have just wantonly thrown uh, Elder Kai's into him and been done with it. As you guys know, I am a huge, I mean, massive a-hole when it comes to this stuff. Don't... It is such a waste... Such a waste to throw Elder Kai's into a unit like this when you've got so many freely farmable units, all right? Now, you will notice these say 50%. I will go into how we're going to rectify that shortly. Now, real talk, when you pick up all of these uh, these UI Gokus, these are the free-to-play ones. They drop as the SR, use the Awaken with SSR. You Dokkan Awaken them to SSR, and then... The Awaken again, as I'm about to do right now, into the UR state. Alright? Boom. And this UR is not TUR. You don't need to do anything more than this. This is what you got. Now, people have screamed, oh my god, it's so expensive. Oh my god, what, am, what, you know, what are you doing? And Real talk, Elder Kaiser are way more expensive than any farmable unit. Way more expensive as you're talking like... Uh, time cost really now because if you either farm them up or you spend real money on them either way you're taking way more time these guys took like a week total to awaken all of them and that's just running the metal events like every other day or something like that you know i ran it uh like maybe i want to say three times today and that was kind of it and i've got all night of my need all right now what I want to do is I want to talk about this real quick and is decide, is it really worth the Elder Kai investment? Because, as you guys know, if you pull a UI Goku, if you haven't pulled him yet and you got a couple days left on the banner, if you're going after him, and I do recommend it, he's a good unit. He's a great unit, in fact. Um, is it worth putting the Elder Kai's into or waiting for the farmable uh, event to come back? Which probably will come back, uh, I want to say, early August. It should come back when we get the other half of the uh, the tournament, when we get Evolution Vegeta and all that stuff. So, uh, Dokkan's, uh, Jiren's Dokkan event, and actually his farmable Super 2. So, and yes, I will be farming Jiren's Super. I'm not giving him Elder Kai's. I absolutely will not do it unless I must, because I feel so firmly in this process. Yes, it does mean I'll be sitting on it for two months as a, at SA1. But, I mean, it has no Dokkan. He already hits pretty well. I don't see I don't see it being that big of a detriment. At least not for me, you know? So, let's jump in here real quick. Let's do a quick little damage test. Now, I am going to go into the quests. Because then I can have a little bit more control and make sure that... Um, that I can do what I want to do and maybe jump to a couple other fights and, you know, make sure that we can get UI Goku. Okay, so here we go. We are jumping into the boss fight now. Now, this should be pretty straightforward. All I'm going to try to do is just... Oof, that's not preferable. Well, that's fine. Physical God Goo will do just enough to boost him. He will be well-maintained and actually have enough key to get a super attack off. So... Uh, this unit, I picked this one because, A, I can do some of my farming while I do this video. B, um, we're not going to have to worry about key or anything like that or damage mitigation. This is just going to be a raw super attack one hit. Uh, I do have a little tiny bit of orb investment in him, but not enough to really matter. It's mostly in the defensive side, so. Um, this is pretty much what you're going to get right off the bat. Maybe he might hit a hair harder, but not anything worth really noting okay tanks really well all right get him 
that was more than I expected. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Uh, so a 600k hit, no crit. Um, wow, that uh, for SA one, that's a that's a hell of a hit. That's a hell of a hit for Super Attack one. Ain't even gonna lie. Ain't even gonna lie. All right. So now we know what he's capable of. All right. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to reverse him, throw in all my dupes, and uh, yeah. We're going to test him at SA-10, and then we'll grab a Rainbow Star one and test him too, and we'll see where we get. So this will be a fun and interesting test. All right. So now that I have my unit, Super Attack 10, pretty straightforward. Uh, as you can see, there's very little into him, so I didn't change anything. This is... Almost base. Pretty damn close to base. But he's got great stats for base. I've also picked up my friend unit. And he is Rainbow Star. Now, he put most of his into double attack. Not that I can be mad about that. Because his super attack raises attack uh, as long as as well as causing immense damage. So, it makes sense. Each time he hits, the attack's going to get higher and higher. So, this should be a good test. Let's jump in here. I've given myself some items so that we can increase key. Uh, this is just a regular heart event. Uh, again, like I said, I don't want units with damage mitigation. I don't want any of that stuff. I'm just going to try to get in here with two separate fights. And so we can get the difference between these two units. All right. Uh, oof. Good items up there, but I'm going to have to go over here and get into this boss fight. I'm not going to get in. I'm going to basically have to jump into the mid boss fight. Um, in order to do both of these. Hopefully. Hopefully. Emphasis on hopefully. The mid-boss fight gives me my unit and not my friend unit. Otherwise, there might be some weird editing going on here. Alright. Come on. Alright, perfect. Absolutely Perfect. So all I'm going to do, dump, drop that there. Now, I do have Physical God Koo, who is teamed up with my unit one more time. Uh, so it'll basically be a good test. And God Koo does, what was it, 30%? 20%? 25% right dead center. It has plus 2 key and plus 25%. Um, what is he even? That's for Strength of Physical. No, so he doesn't boost this unit. He's not boosting this unit much. They are linking a little bit, but that's about it. I thought he was doing a boost. I thought it was int and uh, uh, physical. It's strength and physical. All right. That's cool, though. That's cool. No real additions. No real attack boosts. Just raw power. What's the difference? We hit for 600k. So he doubled his power, which is about expected. So there we go. Now, let's see what the rainbow star does. We'll make sure that he's not getting any attack boosts or anything like that. We'll jump into that here in a second. Like I said, none of these fights are going to be real tough ones. They're just mid. This is a mid boss fight. The next one is going to be very basic. All right. And again, we're not going crazy. We're not testing UI Goku after his transformation. I can actually do that next. I think I'm going to do that next. Test him after his transformation and see what he does too. That would be a really great test, I think. All right. So we're going to move that off to the end. He is linking. I'm going to. Uh, they're still going to link. He's not going to link too much. All right. I'm going to do that to mitigate some of the linkage. I don't want I don't want him to be over boosted. I just want him to do a nice good solid hit and see where we get with this. All right. UI Goku pushing cooler shit in. Take one. Action. Ooh, he's getting a second attack. Nice. So, 1.5 mil without crit. We need a crit. Be nice to see a crit. 1.6 mil that time. Like I said, every time he hits, he's going to raise attack. So, he hit for almost 3 million in total. A little more than 3 million, in fact, in total. So, yeah. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's... 
That's brutal. The difference in a Rainbow Star unit is phenomenal. Um, so yeah, if you had any questions before he leaves, do you want to go after this guy? Hell yeah, you want to go after him. Um, and again, that's a unit with no real boosts, no nothing, versus a full Rainbow Star. So now, Curiosity. I'm going to go see what a unit can do after we just lose all of our health and get our shit pushed in. Give me just a moment. All right. So for this one, we know basically what he can do when there's no damage mitigation or anything like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to deliberately get super attacked, okay? Uh, and I'm going to try to shit the bed on this one so that I don't actually kill him. All right. But we are going to get the first hit off so that we have a base level attack to compare to, all right? And he really doesn't hit us with basic attacks. I want him to super attack, old boy. All right. So 477 is the number that we have to beat. It's actually a, lo a lot of damage reduction on that. Remember, he was hitting for, what, 1.1 mil? Super Saiyan 4 Goku has a lot of defense. Come on, Vegito. I'm looking for you to get super attacked, bro. All right. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. I couldn't even have planned that. I didn't think we were going to get uh, much more out of him. All right. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So... This, this Goku is almost identical to mine in, in many ways. They have a little bit more orb investment, but there's no dupes, best I can tell. Okay. Raise attack causes immense damage. Now, this time it's key plus three attack plus 150%. And great chance to evade an enemy's attack. So. Oh, you can actually click on the different ones here. I didn't realize that. Never realized that before. Interesting. All right. So, now nah, it's not a fair comparison if he's in the middle, because I don't want him to get too boosted off of Jiren. I just want to see basically what he's able to do by his damn lonesome. All right, let's see. Remember, 400k was the number to beat before. How much more is he going to do? Oh, ho, ho, that's nasty. Oh, shit, son. Almost twice as much in that state. That's foul. That's foul. I don't even care if we get killed at this point. That was just a random test. Look, Jiren. Granted, Jiren's SA1, but he hits for just a, a hair. Let's see how much mine hits for. What the hell? Let's keep him in the center. I'm just going to Ghost Usher. Oof, you know what? I said I need to Ghost Usher. I didn't think that Rose was going to have that much, but I know if I put Tech Vegito Blue in the front, he's going to super attack at some point and end all this. Let's try this one more time. See what happens. End this beast. All right, one more time. Now, he's going to have more attack this time. He's going to be... His attack's going to be raised by another, what, 10% or so? I mean, not, actually, not as much. Not as much. But still, significantly more. That one was mine. So, it went from 400-something K to 600 K. That's significant. That is significant. So, there you go. That tells you exactly what you're looking at there. That probably is... What well, I'd have to do the math on it, but that's like a one and a half million hit on a base SA-10 with like z next to zero orb investment. So, guys, do your orb investments, pull your dupes, go after them, give them double attack, make this guy just the supreme leader of your team. And not to mention the fact that his team is just filthy. My Tech Vegito Blue is just awful with him. Oh, my God. So... Guys, that is the video. 
uh, give the little thumbs up if you like the content that you're seeing here today. It lets me know that you want to know more of these tests and want to know what to see. Um, things like that. Other than that, follow my Birdman and hit me up on Booker. Make sure you do also make uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. I'm stumbling over myself because it's 5 o'clock in the morning. I've been trying to film this for the past two hours. I will lay your ass out next time with more facts that you probably don't need to know. <laughs>